Hello class, a very pleasant morning to all of you. Today, I, Raja Parekh from St. Thomas High School, Mahua, am here to further continue with the subject of social science for the students of class 8. My dear students, during the previous lecture, we revised unit number 1. Today, we are going to start with the revision of unit number 2, that is environmental pollution. And we are going to write the answers, question answers of the same chapter but let's take a quick revision what is environmental pollution due to important inventions in science and technology industrial revolution took place in europe and since then man has developed vastly in the fields like electricity railway telephone vehicles etc that have led to a massive change in human life the presence of substance or the elements in the atmosphere or environment that are harmful or poisonous to life is known as pollution, which harms the human existence on the great extent. Man has used the natural resources in unlimited manner to achieve progress and this has become the cause of the widespread pollution of air, water, land and vegetation which are essential for the essential elements of the environment needed to sustain life. So, we are going to discuss what are types of pollution. Let's discuss first of all water pollution. Water becomes unpure or polluted during the process of manufacturing. The chemicals infested water of industries are released into river streams and even on the land. Due to this, uh, such uh, water pollutants uh, go in the ground as well as on the land and it pollutes the ground water. This also affects the aquatic animals. As the water from the drains of the cities is released into river, lakes, etc., serious problems of water pollution causes arises in the city too. Agriculture produce grass grown using this dirty water contains many pollutants and the diseases such as cholera, jaundice, vomiting, etc. spread through water pollution. Let's discuss air pollution. Air is also air pollution is also a major concern of the world. Air is polluted by the gases and the smoke emitted from the industries and the vehicles that run on the fossil fuel. The fossil fuel such as diesel, petrol, etc. releases smoke and harmful gases like hydrocarbons and CO2 gases which pollutes the air. The proportion of carbon dioxide increases in the air respectively. Due to deforestation on large scale uh, and also due to the depletion of the forest cover, CO2 floating in the air has increased and this led to the intense problem of global warming. Sometimes due to the poisonous gases mixed in the raindrops also cause acid rain. To prevent air pollution, certain rules and regulations are formed in order to maintain the air quality by government. Such rules should be followed strictly and equipments which can filter the smoke and poisonous gases should be developed and installed by the industries. Vegetation and forest should be increased. Let's discuss the third type of pollution that is land pollution. Water from the industries and drains in the urban areas often flow on the ground thus pollutes the land. Solid industrial weights, waste adds to it. Non-degradable solid waste such as polythene and other scrap and chemicals dumped on the land also called land pollutions. The extensive use of chemical fertilizers and inf uh, insecticides to increase the farm products also pollutes the soil. To prevent land pollution, purity of environment must be uh, protected. No industries should be set up on the arable land. Traditional biofertilizers should be used instead of chemical fertilizers. Other important uh, re remedies is to use the non-conventional energy sources and the introduction of the greenhouse technology as well as recycle and reusable solid waste. The very next comes is noise pollution. You might have heard about various kinds of horns and loudspeakers or the musical instruments which are played at very high volume causes noise pollution. DJ, 
bands, loudspeakers for canvassing, exploding crackers also causes a great uh, addition to noise pollution. It leads to deafness and has and has a uh, adverse effect on the mental and the emotional health as well. Extremely loud noise is the cause of death of certain insects and organisms. To prevent noise pollution, loudspeakers, radios, TVs and other musical instruments should be played at a low volume. Crackers should be avoided and vehicles should be checked and serviced regularly. Parking facilities should be increased and the growing of trees on both the sides of the roads should also be done. As per Mahatma Gandhi's view, water, land and forest belong to community. Everyone has an equal right on them and making them a commodity of sale is a moral scene. So one must always be aware and the use of those natural resources should be made ap appropriate so that it can harm and it ca its harmful effects leads to minimum. Hence, my dear students, today we are here at the end of this video. I am sharing a PDF file in which the answers of this chapter is shared. So, go through the chapter once as a part of your homework and write the question answers which I am sharing with you in the PDF file. Till then, stay at your home and stay safe. Thank you.